You've probably had to deal with footage like this before. Look at these muddy colors. What's the reason behind them? Is it incorrect white balance and color temperature? Is it color costs from lights like LEDs? In the end, what you really might want is the cleanest, most balanced result. Something that makes the colors really pop out on a screen. So the question is, what color correction and grading steps make that possible? In this video, we're going to answer that and show several techniques to get rid of unwanted color costs using Color Finality Pro, a color grading plugin for Final Cut Pro. Here's the first example. To begin, let's analyze what we have here. Take a look at the waveform monitor. It should be clear that the image lacks blue for proper color balance. Let's move to the inspector. In the latest 2.13 update, the auto white balance algorithm has improved. Let's try the eyedropper and see what we get. Remember, you need to pick a neutral gray in the frame or something that you know should be white. So the door behind the characters should definitely be gray. One click and the footage is balanced. Notice how we've eliminated the yellow color cast and the footage looks much cleaner. And the waveform monitor confirms this. Quick and easy. Now, let's move to the next example and try another method to bring the footage back to life. Open the layers panel and add a color wheels layer. You may have noticed the small color pickers for shadows, midtones, and highlights. They allow automatic correction, essentially auto grading. For balancing highlights, click on something that should be the brightest neutral white. In this case, the lamps are a perfect choice. For midtones, select something neutral gray, like the metallic element of the subway car. And for shadows, pick an area that should be dark gray or something similar. As you can see, we've already achieved a solid result. In this case, it works even better to fine tune the shadows manually, since they are almost where we want them. Looking at the waveform monitor, the footage is now balanced and the scene looks neutral, even though initially it had quite a heavy color cast. Here's another example using color wheels. Turn on slider mode by toggling the option above each wheel. Why use these sliders? They allow you to manually balance RGB channels in the shadows, midtones, and highlights. At this point, it's best not to adjust by eye, but instead by following the waveform monitor. As you raise and lower sliders, the goal is to align the shadows, midtones, and highlights to match these waveforms. In other words, set the same level for a consistent image to achieve a cleaner look as possible by adding more blue to the highlights and midtones and red to the shadows. Here's the result. For our final example, let's look at another tool. The shuffle tool is especially good for cases like this. Here, we'll use only the channel mixer. The principle is similar to sliders but instead of working with shadows, midtones, and highlights, you're adjusting the amount of red, green, and blue within each individual channel. Again, guided by the waveform monitor, we start balancing the image. We'll use the wall as our reference, since it should be a neutral white. Since we've got a lot of blue, we can add more green to the red channel and slightly add red. Then we add more green to the green channel to balance the red and green. Perfect. And the final step is to lower the blue in the blue channel. The result is already looking good. Let's add some more contrast with RGB curves. And finally, let's add one more color wheels layer to boost the overall saturation, which was a bit lacking. Before and after. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Now you can use any of these techniques to remove color costs and bring balance back to your footage. Follow along with a free 7-day trial, link in the description. Bye bye.